they are okay if i audio record this yeah, yeah it's okay so some of the answers that i have heard is because it's bad for the society the parents will shame them the society will shame them i mean that goes off tangent but what do you think would you give a pizza to stop it yeah definitely and why so you just have a right to be safe wherever you go okay and violating someone's sexual privacy is not the way to live at least i would not live like that so i think we all would agree that rape is an immoral thing to yeah, happen definitely. what makes it immoral the fact that it's without consent okay and that you know it's without consent and you want to force it upon someone So when you say force, I'm assuming you are talking about physical violence. Yeah. Okay. Rape is physical violence. Yeah. So and lack of consent. Sorry, what? It's physical and mental. Yeah. So lack of consent, physical violence, and mental trauma. Yeah. I think would be the three primary reasons why rape is immoral. Yeah. Am I missing out on anything? Yeah. Maybe psychological trauma. Yeah. Psychologically, that's about it. Yeah. And would you wish that be upon anyone? No, of course not. In any circumstance? No, absolutely not. Would you ever justify that? Just by rape? Yeah. No, absolutely. In that case, let me give you one hypothetical situation, okay? Where a person is about to go rape someone. Okay. And in this hypothetical, please listen to it carefully. Yeah, yeah. In this hypothetical, before this potential rapist goes and rapes someone, okay. you had a chance to talk to them. Okay. They'll listen to you. They'll yeah, listen yeah. to your logic mm-hmm. and reasoning. And if your logic is good, if your reasoning has no flaws, this person would never rape anyone. But that's not on me to convince someone. That's upon yeah, their me. upbringing and how they. Yeah, are. me. This person will listen to logic and reasoning. Okay. And given that you have a chance, you can convince them not to do it. Okay. Would you try to do it? Yeah, of course. And what would you tell them? Yeah, of course. Well, that depends on what kind of a person they are. I think initially anyone will resort to think making them think about their female members in the family think about your mother or your sister that's usually what people do what about you me yeah what what I do you to yeah yeah that's the same thing i would, I would start with that okay. to find out the background at least so depending on how he replies to that i'll know if he gives a fuck about women or not or she like the rape, potential rapist could be a woman as well yeah sure but let's say they reply to you saying that you know I don't have a sister my mom is dead It wouldn't work over there right Why not How do you think I can came... imagine if you had a mom okay, Imagine but did... given that yeah, they are dead because not. of a mom But now that they know this threat Yeah is not going to be very practical because their mom is dead and they never had a sister So first of all if they don't have any reasoning you go and save the girl that's it that is What if they say I will rape a man <laughs> So, that is the man problem. This... Suddenly, I don't care. <laughs> She's joking. She's joking. That's a joke. Uh, if it comes to a man, since men claim to be so strong, I think they can figure it out themselves. This is completely is it... social perspectives and how we face it. So, would you say it's okay to rape a strong woman? It's not. It's not okay to rape anyone. Yeah. So let's look at how would you logically tell them. Like, for example, I can perhaps ask this question in a different fashion. Let's say a kid comes and asks you, "Didi, rape is bad, but why should I not rape someone?" Would you say, "Okay, men are strong, so it's okay; no, they will figure it out, not. or something like that"? The kid doesn't or, know what rape is, so that's the primary stage where you explain to them what is wrong and why it's wrong. A yes. kid is completely different from a grown adult. Okay, so assume this is a 15 or 16 year old kid. Oh, so you just want them to stop them from raping another guy? No, so this person comes. This I kid mean, comes. I mean, if they're really intent on raping, I don't think the gender matters. You are missing on the question. Sure. This person will listen to the logic. Okay. No matter whatever so they are feeling. Basically, asking what's your best plan? Best way to stop it from happening. Best way of you convincing someone. Yeah. What is the best way you would say? Someone who wants to listen to logic. Mm-hmm. Like, so think I, of that person as like a. No, they will listen to you regardless. But where your logic is weak, they'll point out, "Hey, there yeah, is a so loophole." Okay, the main thing is one: you need consent. You need to know that the person is okay with this happening. And if the person is not okay, clearly that is something wrong that you are doing. No matter rape or anything, even if a person doesn't want to be hugged, that means they don't. You, you don't have that consent, so you can't hug them. That's basic humanity. Okay. So let me speak from this potential rapist's perspective. 
the reason they were going to rape someone is not because they wanted to harm someone it's not because they wanted to traumatize someone they were just looking for their pleasure they also knew that them seeking this pleasure will also come at the expense of traumatizing someone yeah, so the new the so they know what they're doing is harming someone else. okay so, so what about their pleasure if they ask no one gives a fuck about that pleasure if it's at the expense of someone else's concern but if you were to tell them this statement i don't give a fuck about your pleasure no i would say like how dare you care about your own pleasure rather than someone else's concern this pleasure but you can get it from so many other ways why do you have to like? rape someone what kind of sex toy what yeah okay. so let's say this person says that what's her name ananya so ananya this person says that ananya i tried uh, sex toys it didn't feel the same how about you try approaching an actual human and be like Oh, I want to get into a relationship and then have sex with them. What if they don't have the time or bandwidth to have a relationship? That means they're not human. Yeah, then you should just stay somewhere. Yeah. I mean, wh- I what if they I'm just s- want to? I'm have- sorry, but women are not sexual objects. So just because a toy is not working for you doesn't mean you want to. I mean, I told you this person is going to rape a man. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Why not? Men, yeah, but I'm going to look at it as a women's perspective because yeah. it's something women face. Let's face it first. So like, if you say like. I don't know. One out of hundred men get raped. I'm not going to think about that one man. Clearly, we need to make legislations for women and not men for the same particular reason. So, not a very sensitive thing to say, but okay, continuing. But there are laws for you as well. You know, rape of a man is not even considered a crime. Ah uh, no, it's changed with the uh, yeah. Navdeep Singh Jawhar case. They are recognizing it. They only consider it as sodomy, not as rape. But carrying okay. forward, I don't really care about the. legal perspective you of should that's how it changes yeah, yeah. i don't necessarily care from the legal perspective as much as i care from the moral perspective i think you should look at it as a legal perspective here is the reason why i say i don't look at it from the legal perspective is because there are many things which are illegal okay but not necessarily immoral okay but you just claimed it to be sodomy so if you really you know sodomy was one of the laws which was used to prosecute uh, homosexuals yeah i know So, that was one of the reasons uh, women were granted divorce okay so like but coming back to the ethical discussion that we were having yeah. i don't want to go but i'm off. saying you need legal if you have to go ethical cuz that's how laws come okay so so they're interrelated okay so should i wait until the laws are fixed to act ethically no laws are made on their own if such discussions come up and laws are made sure what i'm asking is should i wait for a law to fix something for me to start acting ethically what i mean by that What do you think about marital rape? It's okay. It's bad. No. Any opinions? No, no, not at all. No opinions? No. No, I'm telling you, I'm not agreeing with it. Yeah. So you think it's bad? Yes. Okay. What about you? Okay. See, marriage or not? Yeah. If you don't have their consent and you proceed to do it, mm-hmm. you're a monster. You yeah. should just leave okay. the planet. Yes. Now, what do you think is the punishment for marital rape? There is no punishment. Which means it's not a crime. Yeah, it's not criminalized. It's supposed and to be. And the judges like... themselves think that when you're consenting to marriage, you're consenting to everything that is considered a marital affair. So it starts from there. So when you guys start th- changing how you think, yeah. that's when laws change. Yeah. So what I meant by giving that example is now, for example, let's consider a couple where one partner is going to rape their partner. Okay. And according to the Indian Penal Code, since it is not a crime. Okay. Do you think this potential rapist should not act ethically because the laws are not going to prosecute them? One thing I think you should change partner to spouse because partner just suggests a relationship and there are no laws against that. As for spouses, it's still decriminalized, so there's not anything we can do about that. So what I mean to ask is, do you think they should wait for the law to act ethically? That's the whole point of filing PILs and filing. Cases. I'm asking you as of today, as of right now. Yeah. Should they wait for the laws to be changed to start acting ethically? No, absolutely not. Right? Yeah, that's the point of fighting. Which means PIL, ethics right? comes from top as compared to laws. That's what I'm trying to say. How your ethics are founded upon, that's yeah. how laws come. So let's look at the ethics when it comes to that. Yeah. So right? let me give you an example. Sati, hmm. it was first just a tradition, right? And hmm. then it became a law. People, because there was no law as such. Then when they started following it as a custom, it became a social law. So then, when the people realize this is something that should not be done, a law was created to ban sati. So, so that's why. Do you think that even when there was no law to stop sati, 
it was still immoral yes of course that is what i am trying to point out now coming to this case of this person who was going to rape someone okay you said that either go for sex toys but this person said that it doesn't feel the same way okay it wouldn't justify raping someone right yeah that's the point so no matter what happens if you cannot figure out how to please your own self does not mean you can put someone else through that trauma yeah exactly are we on the same page yeah so this trauma would be the lifelong depression right mm-hmm. maybe the physical bruises as well yeah. maybe the social anxiety and the many different things which comes with being the victim what if this person says that hey i can't stop i think you have even convinced me not to do it okay but look at the number of rape cases throughout the world me stopping or not stopping mm. would it even make a difference to even single person yeah to yes, the girl to the girl that you did not rape that matters the most mm-hmm. you see her autonomy is in your body that's so wrong mm-hmm. so that's how we should be looking at things so if i if i can't eat pizza for my whole life and i'm saving so many women from getting raped of course that's a great thing it's just pizza we can find you can try to make it in a different way and still have it there's so many other things we can have but this is well i'm glad that you're looking from the victim's perspective and just like how you corrected me you shouldn't call it partners you should yeah. call them spouse or say don't say girls just say victims yeah sure yeah because the amount of trauma that one goes through is, is not dependent mm-hmm. upon their sex but we are looking at it from our perspective just oh. like how you are looking at it from your perspective we are looking so at it from i am looking from a very inclusive perspective where anyone can yeah, be because you are a man you have the authority to do that yeah that's the harsh reality and all but let's see where that goes okay yeah. what if this person says that hey i don't want to traumatize someone and you said that it would still make a difference mm-hmm. so instead of me raping this person how to murder them instead how would you murder your son why are and, you doing this and hear me out the reason this person is going to murder someone mm-hmm. is because once you are dead there is no element of trauma dude you just killed a person oh. okay. but would you agree once a person is dead there is no element of trauma i'm not saying it's okay to do i'm asking you would you agree that there is no element of trauma once a person is dead Uh, but then yes, but their family members are going to be affected. Their friends are going to be affected. So the trauma is passed down to them. What if this person did not have a family? I, at the end of the day, that's just something very disgusting and immoral. And there are laws for that also. Remember how you said, oh, if they don't have a mom or a sister, how about you get raped instead and you know how it feels? It changed from rape to murder. Right? Uh, whatever, you get murdered and you decide. So you said that uh, murdering someone was immoral. Sorry. You said murdering someone was immoral. No, 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 no. Murdering someone with the intention of just raping them is immoral. That's crazy. They are not going to rape someone. They are only. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. They are not going to rape someone. They are only going to murder someone. Okay. Would you say that is okay or that is See, also bad? See, murder is also not okay. Mm-hmm. But then, how do I say this? At that point, they're already gone, and there's not much you can do about it. But uh, why do you think murder is wrong? Why would you try to kill someone? Like why? What right do you have to take my life? Away? Yeah, why do you want to take someone else? Just like they have right to give life. you to take my. Yeah. Yeah. No, so you're saying no one has the right to kill someone? Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely no one. No. But if you want to like bring some criminals, criminals or something, something. Sorry, what? If you want to bring up criminals or something who are given the death sentence, so that's completely a different case. So let's say they listen to both of you, and they say that in that case, I won't rape a human. I won't rape a human or murder them. Okay. I'll rape an animal instead. That's how we got AIDS. They should be used as lab rats instead of the actual rats. Would you be okay with that? No, of no. course not. Leave the animal alone. I mean, I would be more concerned why you want to violate someone's sexual identity so, bad. so much. So bad. Like, like if why? you are having such sexual problems, you should see a sexual what a sex therapist. Sex yes. Therapist. That's your this thing. Go to a doctor. Get your mind yeah, and your yeah. your organs checked. Do you think raping an animal is also bad? Yes. yes. For which reasons? For what? They are also living beings. Okay. What else? And you don't. Uh, sorry to be vulgar, but you, men don't have to fuck everything with a hole. What if a woman was going to rape an animal? Same thing. Okay, take, okay. How do you suggest? You don't have to fuck that? anything with a dick on it. Yeah, but how do you suggest they would do that? Maybe anally fish them. But anyway, then again, that differs from definition of rape. I mean, rape is a 
sexual act without consent okay. in very simple words that is what rape means right mostly sexual intercourse without consent Sexual act also. Let's consider that also. That also discussed. So this would be what? what is that? Sexual harassment or yeah. other one? Assault. 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 Yeah. So uh, remember the three reasons which we discussed, or four reasons yeah. which we discussed why rape was bad. Hmm. Do you remember those? I asked you initially why rape is bad. Immoral reasons, trauma. Yes. Mental trauma, depression, lifelong. What else? Physical trauma. Physical abuse. Yes. Yeah. Psychological horrors. And to begin with, lack of consent. Mm. So does lack of consent also apply to animals? Yeah. How about physical abuse? Yes. Sir. Mental trauma? Maybe. I mean, Maybe, yeah. Mostly yeah. yes. Okay. Would you say if animals if you hurt them physically, they're automatically mentally existing. They're going to automatically stay away from all the Yeah. Mm. Which means these things also apply to animals. Yeah. So would you say raping an animal is cruel? Yes. And what does cruelty mean to both of you? Cruelty to me is any conduct which could harm the other person. It can be mental, physical, anything. How about you? Same thing. Which could or which does harm someone? Which could and which does. Because, for example, if you decide in your head, I'm going to punch this person in five minutes. You haven't done it yet, yeah. which means that even if it's just a thought. But the fact that you're capable of. Doing it. I mean, we are physically capable of punching yeah. each other, right? Yeah. That's not necessarily mean we are cruel until unless we act upon it, right? See, when you act upon it, it becomes a crime. Until then, it's just cruel, according to me. So, when you say about causing someone pain or harming someone yeah. or hurting someone, right? You see this piercing, right? Just one minute. Sorry? You see this piercing, right? Yeah. I got it last week. Okay. And when I got it done, it caused me some pain. Mm -hmm. Would you say because it caused me some pain, that's why it was cruel? Absolutely not. No, you gave your consent. Yeah. You knew what was going to happen. Yeah. And you, you were aware it. of it, you wanted it. Yeah. So, cruelty would be something that is unconsented harm. Yeah. 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 Okay. And but I still. Yeah, I'm, go ahead. The piercing wasn't hurting. It did. Like, yeah. like if it someone just it. came and pricked you and did, that would hurt you. Because you weren't really prepared for it. Got to get it done. You know it will hurt. You looked in the mirror. You like, oh, I want to pierce in there. I know it hurts, but I want. Yeah. It. Yeah. So that is what consent means, right? Yeah. That I agreed for that. So that's why it's different. And uh, so that's why I said that cruelty would be something that is unconsented harm. Yeah. yeah. Unconsented. Uh, but I still feel there is a loophole. Let's quickly, let's quickly try to patch that. That is. Let me take an example. When kids are young, and parents take them to the dentist. The kids really don't want to go, yeah. but the parents force them anyway, and the dentist is going to operate on their teeth anyway. Okay. No consent, there is still some pain. Yeah. Would you say that was cruel? No. no. And why not? Because of the guardians, they were doing it for the well being of the child. And okay. Yeah. But so, uh, okay, over here, maybe guardianship comes into picture. So, let yeah, me give one more example. Okay. The vehicles are coming on the street, right? Let's say when a car is coming, it is about to hit a person, mm. an adult person. Okay. But before the car could hit them, what I do is I go and push that person away to okay. avoid that accident from happening. Okay. Of course, I did not have that consent of that person to push them away. You were doing good. Yeah. Of course, I did not have the consent to push them away. And when I push them, it might hurt them as well. Okay. Now, there's no concept of guardianship. Yes. You said it's the good intention. Yeah. So would you say that when consent cannot be given, we at least consider what the intention was? Yeah. Okay. So even in this case, you consider the better of the two evils. Okay. So when we apply this modified definition or understanding of cruelty to the act of raping an animal, okay. would you say it is definitely cruel? Yes. Yeah. Would you say it is an example of animal cruelty? Yes. Yes. Are you against animal cruelty? Yes. yes. Can you give me a few examples of animal cruelty that you are against? Testing on animals, testing makeup on animals, or physical abuse, poaching, mm -hmm. yeah. starving them purposely, mm -hmm. or like getting a pet and then like not being able to take care of it. That's also kind of. Okay. <laughs> what else? I think that sums up. Okay. So I agree with uh, most of the examples that you have given. Yeah, most. Now let me give you a few examples of animal cruelty. You let me know if you agree or disagree with that. 
What do you think about enslaving animals? To do what? Enslave them and do what? Can you expand? To so take them as your slaves. And do what? Could be anything, but do, would you say taking someone as your slave is cruel? No. Oh, it is cruel. I thought you meant yeah. Okay, so enslaving animals happens in at least three major domains. First one would be for our entertainment. So I'm referring to zoo, circuses, aquariums, horse riding, dog fighting, bull fighting, jelly kattu, pet breeding industry. Would you say all of them are cruel? Yes, but I think zoos, circles and aquariums are all normalized because they don't see the physical harm happening in front of them. So they think it's just some cool little thing that people do to put on a show. So, let's not worry about other people's opinion. What about yours? Do you think it is animal cruelty? Yeah, of course. How about you, Ananya? I personally don't like zoos. So, with all of these, would you agree all of them were cruel? Yeah. Another place where we enslave animals would be to use these animals for transportation. Like horses, camels, elephants, donkeys, bulls. Would you say that is also cruel? Uh, kind of mixed opinions on this because uh, from what I've seen, but horse riders, they really take care of the horses a lot. So I don't think that would come under cruelty. Alright. So I that's feel cruelty. Like the animals. Yeah, go for it. Show that they don't like the behavior and you continue yeah. to do it. That is clear. I think, but if the animal psychology, too. yeah, and like say you're keeping like uh, you know the horse riding thing, and you have like a horse for transportation. You're feeding it. You're taking care of it. The horse has no problem. You're letting it free for like wandering around, and you're getting it back. I don't think that is cruelty. Yeah. So how do you make a horse be okay sh- with you riding? Treat it like how it. Like treat it in a decent way. I mean, initially when you just sit on it, you, you see know, its reaction. Like asking, if it pushes you off, it means it's not okay. It's like asking if is driving... There any, oh, oh, oh. Has there been any time where an animal, initially, when someone was trying to ride them yes. or put load on them, didn't try to shrug that off? Yes. Has there been a time where they didn't do it? Yeah. So does that automatically mean that they have consented for it? <laughs> to trace back, do you think these animals consent for you to ride you as in anyone yeah, to ride them? Do you think they consent for it? I think it depends on the behavior. Like first time when you get on it and it pushes you off, you will try a second time. So and if someone is so, so someone is pushing you off, isn't that a signal that they are not okay with it? Yeah. Which means that you should never do it. Yeah. The thing with humans is it's verbal and physical form. And that's not the same thing with horses. So I don't think you can even compare human consent with animal consent. Sure. Do you think if it was a human who could not communicate? Okay. Okay. In that case... Like I just said, human behavior and animal behavior is different. Okay. In what ways? Your face shows a lot of emotions and we are grown up learning the emotions the face encapsulates but with horse we don't. So it is your lack of understanding the expressions of horse? Absolutely not. Horses are... No one is no, called an emotion of a horse. But with no, humans thing is, it's different. I think is, we keep reverting back to the animal thing. I don't want to. Why not? Because you are completely shifting focus. So would you say raping an animal is somewhat less worse than... Raping a human? No, I don't want to violate anyone's sexual privacy. Sure. So that's why I'm trying to set a very clear basis of what comes under cruelty. Okay. So. But the thing is, sexual cruelty okay. and physical cruelty are just two different things. Okay. Okay, you and know how you told about like the load thing, like okay, say that the horse doesn't want to like carry on. That's the same like how the cab drivers don't want to be a cab driver, but they end up being one, and then you just take the cab and go. Do you think that Sometimes the cab just, driver is still choosing to do it? No, the, exactly. Hmm? No, like, I think this okay, analogy would look better on sex workers. Of course. Yeah. Those who are coerced into it, yeah. of course it is immoral. Yeah, yeah. So Do you think these animals are coerced into it? Coerced into? Being used as slaves for transportation. No. I mean, they don't have a choice. I feel like some are born into it. Yeah. Yeah, sex animals. workers are also Not sometimes. Sex. No, no, no. Born she's talking about like right? yeah. cattle rearing. But then, those cattle are 
I feel like you should be given a choice. They're needed for the purpose of this. She's, she's looking at it in that way. All right. So if someone has been breeded for that, does yeah. that mean that they consent for it? No. No. It's the same for animals too. Yeah. But for humans, I don't think that's how it works. I've heard of designer babies, but I don't think people are needed just to whatever you're trying to say. What if they were? What if they were breeded for this person? Sorry? So I'll give you an example that has happened in the history. Okay. There was a time where humans, and I'm talking about those Caucasians, would think that it is some sign of privilege for their babies to be breastfed from a black woman. Okay. So what would... Sorry, what? Humans are so weird. So what would happen is when a Caucasian woman would get pregnant, they would make the black person also pregnant. And once a baby is born, the black kid would be taken away and this baby, the Caucasian baby would be nursed by that black woman. Okay. So there have been instances that we have done these acts. But coming back to when I was talking about enslaving animals, what do you think about animal testing? Mm. What about when we use animals? For fashion. In the sense? Like five points. Like yes. leather? No. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. Silk? Yeah. Wool? I feel like we can just live without Fur and feathers. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what were you saying? I feel like we can live without it. We can be a cotton. Who's cotton? Sure, but would you say those things are cruel? Yes. But you know, I think we live in a world where people don't have the time or patience to think about such things. They're more they're so worked up in their own problems that they don't have time for such things. That is why I'm trying to have that time now. Mm-hmm. So, but having a discussion with us both is not going to change the way everyone thinks. Yeah. Sure, so let me worry about that. Yeah. So in that's, your case, that's in, what I'm saying. So in your case, let's just worry about the three of us. What do you think about when we use animals for our food choices? Like non vegetarians You tell me. That's like animals hunting each other. Just like humans kill each other too? Yeah. Uh, humans don't eat each other. They do. Cannibal. That's cannibalism. That's, isn't that illegal? Yeah, it is so illegal. So cannibalism is still part of eating another animal? According to you. Yeah, I Cannibalism is a subset of non-vegetarianism. It's not mutually exclusive. What do you think about that? Is it animal cruelty? No. Us eating other... Animals? I mean, I'm a vegetarian, so I would think it is. How about you, Ananda? I'm non-vegetarian, so... <laughs> uh, I don't think it's cruel, it's just... Uh, I don't think it's cruel. Yeah. Can you remind me again, what did cruelty mean I know, to you? I know, it goes against it. I know, but I just want my food. Sure. So, would you say it is cruel or not? It is cruel, but... God, do what you want to do to eat. But then people have the reasoning that ecosystem won't work if you don't eat non That is awesome. That's an entire... Do you know it's not backed by science. I have no idea. I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, but I'm telling you it's not backed by science. Stop. I just want food. Okay. Do you think you wanting to have food versus... It's not an, equal to pleasure and all that. No. Hear me out. You wanting to have that food versus this animal wanting to live. Which one is of more importance? Sure. You wanting your food is more yeah, important. That's than why this. we fight for it. That's yeah. fighting for its life, I'm fighting for it. Kill it. So, would you say that you are killing that animal or at least paying to kill that animal because you wouldn't survive otherwise? Not really, I would survive. So, it's not about survival, right? It's not about fighting about it for your life, right? No, I'm not fighting for my life. I'm just so trying you, to eat it. Yeah, you trying to eat something which is not even essential for you to survive yeah. versus an animal who does not want to die. Yeah. Whom should we focus more on? Maybe the animal. Right. So how do you think pizza and rape are related? Pizza and rape are not related, but in this question... What if I tell you they are directly related? Not in a poetic sense, but in a very direct sense. How? Make a guess. Who are you willing to make the pizza? Huh? What if I'm talking about a vegetarian pizza? Yeah, so you're not killing anything. I just finished an 
I don't think they're related. Think of an ingredient on pizza which could be linked to rape. I'm giving a hint. The baker. A baker is an ingredient. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> no. Think about it. Right? Basic cheese, tomato sauce, dough, salt. What do you think could be linked to this? You're not a chef. उंड And why do you think they produce milk? Feed the baby. Yeah, why? Not for. No, that's why baby is neutral. Neutral. Okay. Since you can't eat any. Yeah. And why can't the baby eat something else? It doesn't have the teeth or the muscles yeah. for it. Yeah. The system, the digestive system, and the digestive system. Yeah. Yeah. But would you agree that for a cow to produce milk, she, not it, she, needs to be pregnant? It can be after she gives birth. I mean, the lactation happens after you give birth. Yeah. But for that, you need to be pregnant for that. Okay. In order to be pregnant, you need to be copulating for that. Okay. Because breeding happens. How do you think cows are getting pregnant? Breeding. Yeah. How? You don't force them and try to make them get. Can you tell me what we do instead of saying what we do? Heat cycle something something that they have. So when they have the heat cycle or something, they make the male and the female in together, and I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. So if you we were to wait for this to happen, it's not going to be a very efficient process because not every copulation is going to result in a pregnancy. No, that's not true. Yeah, and in case if you miss one cycle, a dairy farmer who is just going to sell milk, who is in the business of selling milk, is going to incur losses. So what we do is called artificial insemination. Oh, okay. Have you heard about that word before? Yes. In which context have you heard, Ankita? No. For artificial reproduction in women. In humans. Yeah. Right? So in humans, firstly, yeah, both the partners are animal. going to give consent for it. Yeah. In animals, firstly, the consent is not going to be there. Mm. What the process looks like is we give electric shocks to the bull yeah. on his testicles. Mm. To force him to ejaculate. We collect that bull semen. Can I ask you a quick question? Is it okay if I finish the point first? Does Otherwise, you are not. I mean, let me explain that. Because I feel like you changed the whole topic now. Not really. Let me explain it. Please. Sure. Okay. After giving electric shock to the bull and collecting the bull semen, we turn to the female cattle, the buffaloes, the cows. The dairy farmer will shove his hand in their anus, elbow to shoulder deep. Okay. We we'll take a metal rod this big, dip it in the sperm they had collected, and shove that metal rod up her vagina to deliver that sperm to forcefully get her pregnant. Sorry, boss. Now, which word would you use to describe anally fisting someone without consent and shoving a metal rod in their vagina without permission, with the intention to forcefully get them pregnant? Rape. Ananya. Yeah. From the victim's perspective, that is the cow, that is the buffalo. Do you think this is painful? Yes. Yeah. I don't think they would really gonna like uh, metal rods in their vagina. Yeah. Would you say it is torturous? Yes. Is it traumatizing? Yeah. Is it womb abuse? Of course. Sexual assault? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure about womb abuse. Sexual abuse. They didn't want to get pregnant. Yeah, I know. You forcefully get them pregnant. Okay. Isn't that what womb abuse is? But I'm looking at it from the perspective of surrogacy. Also. I can't relate it related to animals that much. So. Sure. I mean, you weren't even able to relate to males. Yeah. So. 
I think maybe watching a video would help. But what about you, Ananya? Do you think that this is something undesirable? Yeah. I don't really desire Okay. Let me put it in this way. Would you want to swap places with that cow? No. Would you say that that is precisely because this is undesirable? You wouldn't want this to happen to you. Yeah. yeah. So if you wouldn't want to be in that place, can you think of anyone else who deserves to be in that no. place? The rapists. Probably rapists. The rapists. Okay. The rapists as in the people who are doing this to the cow? That can be one inclusion to it. Okay. But do you think these cows and buffaloes should be going through that? No. No. So why is it that they are going through this? Because of consumerism. As in, can you explain as further? In, Consumerism, when people want to over consume something and they're not willing to uh, use a alternative product. Like there is almond milk, there is soybean milk, there are a lots of different alternatives but people don't want that. How about you? What, what milk I drink? Do you think you are part of that problem? Sure. But also it's about the financial situation I'm in, the sociological situation I'm in. Is it mandatory for you to drink milk? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And why is that so? Because we were grown up drinking milk. Yeah. And once we can't consume our mother's milk anymore, we go to a substitute. And that is Why do you think you go? Health. Okay, good for health. Calcium. Calcium. Okay. Is cow a calcium ore? No, probably not. Is it? Can you can get calcium by the way. Where does she get the calcium from? Ah, I don't know. I'm not good at buy so calcium is the mineral which is found in the soil, okay. which is absorbed by the plants. Yeah. And when the animal eats the plant, they get the calcium. Yeah. So would you say you require calcium, not milk? But can I eat that plant? Does my digestive system have the power I to digest that plant? I heard digestive system probably exactly. can I digest eat that it plant? better than we are able to. So maybe that's okay. why. So let's look at few sources of calcium. Do you know about ragi? Do you think you can digest ragi? Yeah. Do you think you can get calcium from ragi? Yeah. That's I don't. Sorry. Sorry? I don't eat ragi. So is that the fault of the cow that she needs to go through this? No, there, there are of course other ways I can get calcium. Do you think that ragi is going to be expensive? I don't know. I don't have ragi. Okay, it's not expensive. That is one of the many different things. Sesame okay. seeds, for example, also contain calcium, right? Okay. Spinach. Do you think these are the foods which are readily available? Sure, you can eat this. See the cows or... Now, let's come back to the situation of the cow. Instead of placing either of you in the victim's position, I place you in the victimizer's position. Where you had to initially fish the cow. Okay. Where you had I to... I mean... Where you had to shove a metal rod up her vagina. We are looking at... Overworked workers who don't have any other option. To sure, would you let me finish, please? Yeah. It's not really good if you cut my points. Sure. But your points are really. It keeps twisting around and around. And we're not really looking at things in your perspective at all. We are not looking from the victim's perspective. Is this all about cows and milk? Is the discussion about that? So, did you not figure out how it was linked yeah, to Yeah, I did. But we were looking at it in a different perspective. I think we're done here.